Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil Outbreak. This is the last scenario for this game. End of the road. Should have been end of the line. I think that has a, a nicer sound to it. End of the line. But uh, hey, I didn't make this game. The countdown to destruction has begun. Yet hope remained. The confusion and anarchy. And yeah. Anarchy tore the city apart. The time had come to stand up and fight. Okay, I like the sound of that. We are going to play as Cindy because we need some health. Um, and we need to carry as much of this health around as we possibly can. So, Cindy it is. Now, we're also going to take George because this feels like a Georgie level. Uh, I'm not going to say anything just in case some people haven't seen it, but uh, George it is and our third character I really like Alyssa however I don't think she's overly useful here Yoko we really haven't made much use of her um, hmm I like Yoko but she's so weak we're gonna pass I think who hasn't seen a lot of action David or Jim? Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's take Mark. Mark I actually prefer over Kevin. Mark is stronger than Kevin. And I haven't actually started uh, timing this. Have I? Mark is definitely stronger um, than Kevin. He is actually the strongest character in the game. Which I didn't realise. Uh, also, he has a 9mm. Now, the 9mm, in my limited experience with this game, is so much more useful than Kevin's 45. And that is mainly because you generally find a lot of 9mm ammo. 45, not so much. So, let's go with Mark. And we go normal. Now, this level yeah, is very mazy. It's yeah, it's an interesting one. I've only completed it go. once. No, no. It's way too dangerous to go back now. I left something very important back there. Trust me when I say it's going to be a big help to us later. I promise I'll be back before you know it. Really? Fine. But I'm not waiting long. I don't think he even had a watch. So huh. If it's my ass or yours, you could bet my ass will be the first out the door. Baby. <laughs> what an asshole. Okay, anyway. So that is our escape route, I assume. This is an ominous looking place, isn't it? Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Good lad. You alright, buddy? That's what I like to see. Yeah. Thank you. Wait a second. She's human. I love that. Wait a second. She's human. Ah, uh, it just takes me straight back to Resident Evil 2. Don't shoot. I'm a human. What a weird and cringy line. <clears throat> a line that's burned into my brain. Has been for many years. Five minutes later. Waiting room. Waiting for what? Waiting to get some revenge on these zombie bastards. Well, we're all here. Present and correct. Okay. Now, you're oh. here for the sample too, right, Linda? Yeah. Now let's take that and get the hell out of here. All right. You might want to get moving there too, stranger. Stranger. Of course, you could always come with us. We got a helicopter waiting. <laughs> Stranger. What's going on? Such odd dialogue. Some kind of alert? Oh goody. Should check it out. Not now of all times. Yes, now we can't get out the bloody door. And there's nothing we can do about that. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go explore this evil evil lab. Well Okay. Let's do this thing. Come on, chaps. 
let's go. Now, this this level starts off quite quite complicated. Um, it's very mazy. Oh, hello. How long must we live in fear? Right, so one, two, and three. There is blood on the panel's keys. That's actually very easy to remember, but I am retarded, so I'm going to write that down. One, two, three. Now, there's actually a reason I'm going to write that down anyway. And that is because that's obviously the code to a door or doors. Doors in this uh, in this particular instance. However, because that is uh, bloody, we obviously know what three buttons are pushed, but we don't know what order they've been pushed in. So we're gonna have to decipher that. Okay, can't get through there. We need a key card. Come on, my band of brothers, let's move into A03 East Passage, if you will. Um, might get interrupted a few times for this video. But I'm hoping we're going to be okay. Oh, what is that on the floor? Is that anything? It is. It's an iron pipe. Yeah, sure. We're taking iron pipe. Oh, Jesus. Yep. No zombies here. At least not yet. No, we have uh, bloody um, uh, hunters. Now, the hunters in this game are kind of odd. They are very dangerous, as hunters always are. They don't seem as mobile uh, as they were in other games. Map of this place, you've memorized it. Blueprint, yep, we've already... Right, cool. Map locked in. Let's have a little look. There's a paper here. Will you read it now? Sure. Internal memo. About the fire shutter lock system. The fire shutter automatically closed... In the event of an emergency, to open one, you must enter the three-digit code on the control panel. Okay. All shutters within the facility are operated with the same password. For security purposes, the code is changed every 24 hours. Employees should check their computers each morning for the new code. And um, what did I say about interruptions? Already. Okay. Luckily, that was only a quick one. Right. Cool. Now, any other goodies here? I don't think so. What on earth is transpiring here? You tell me, Georgie boy. You tell me. Anywho, let's get moving. We've got a lot to do. Uh, Mr. Hunter is out here. Right, let's check the map. Now, we need a card key for that door. So let's go back. Oh, hello, Mr. Hunter. Can you get out of the way, please? They don't seem to have the one-hit kill that they used to. Now, that might just be uh, that I haven't seen it. I mean, it's certainly possible that they do have it. Oh, shit. Spike up the ass. I don't like the look of the hunters either in this game. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Evasive maneuvers. Right. Yeah, their, their faces aren't right. They got, like... I don't know. Kind of like really toothy, mutated skull type uh, looks around about them. Are the hunters going to come through? Maybe. Right, examination room. Let's go through. You've unlocked it. Now, hopefully there's something in here that we need. Hopefully. Hello, what pray tell are you doing in here? There's a paper here. Will you read it now? Sure. Uh, what are you offering me? What are you offering me, George? Ooh. You're co you, of course, are Mark. Not George. Okay. Uh, the paper. Let's have a little read of that. Uh, reagent refinement file. Um, con concerning AT-1521, the reagent known as AT-1521, hereby referred to as AT, is designed to slow the spread of the T-virus in infected individuals. AT is only effective in those who have yet to exhibit symptoms of the virus. It does not eliminate the virus already in the bloodstream, but it only suppresses it and slows its progress. 
AT has enjoyed a 99.91 success rate in lab mice against the T-virus, which has no actual cure. It remains the only method of control and suppression available. Details on its refinement are listed below. Only under the most extreme circumstances is this information allowed to leave the company grounds. And... Damn it, people are commenting on my Facebook page. I will turn that down. Um, most extreme. That is not a plug of my Facebook page, by the way. Uh, yes, okay. There are dozens of pages attached, um containing medical and scientific terminology incomprehensible incomprehensible to laymen okay fair enough what are you doing there are hunters in the east there's hunters in the east wing i think that shutter may have opened now we can go out the exit with my key leaving now is suicide carter knows that he said he has an idea i wonder what it is well looks like we're gonna have to go find carter then oh hello there's a couple of f8 sprays in here actually uh, I don't see the harm in taking one along with us. Accidents happen. No telling who's going to lose a testicle. Right. Well, it won't be Cindy, let's be honest. Oh, what have we got in here? Medical cabinet. Dozens of medicines are stored here. Okay. Fair enough. Let's keep moving anyway. Now, we do have that code. Um, one, two, three. Okay. Let's run down here. Guys, if you could distract the hunter, please. Yeah, not a fan of their design. They look really strange. Hopefully, he's not aggroed onto me anymore. If we're lucky, it will literally be one, two, three. Oh my god, it's this! Okay, wonderful. Um, <laughs> that is unreal. That, I'm, I'm happy. Now, let us stick that in there and have a little think about what we're going to do. We also have another way we want to go because we want to get a shotgun. And damn if I can't remember where said shotgun is. Out of the way, hunters. Oh, could it be back there actually I think it is what cruel monsters yes they are they're not the prettiest things you're ever gonna see let's be honest now West Passage I think this is where we need to go uh, I am rusty on this level to be honest but yes this is where we need to go one two three now give me that 12 gauge sexiness Come on. There we go. Look at this bad boy sitting right here. Waiting for us it was. Uh, let's combine that into there. Oh, God. George is on danger. You are kidding. George, where are you, buddy? I'm coming, buddy. George, follow me. And you will survive. Luckily, I don't think... Okay, these... Hunters are a little bit tougher than I remember. Cindy. Cindy, Cindy, get that shotgun. There we go. Okay, that did not go as well as it could have. Let's be honest, that's unbelievable. I can't believe I've even had to use the shotgun now. What a waste of shells. Never mind. Right, now. George, buddy, take that. Come on, you useless... Fool. There you go. You have my permission to use it as well. There we go. Okay, we now have our 12 gauge. Uh, let's continue. There should be a door here. I mean, of course there's going to be a door here, but hopefully it's going to be one that we can use. Now, we need to go in there, but not yet. I don't want to be too long here because... Ah, yeah, this, no, no. Right. I think maybe we have to go back out here. Uh, up through there. Central Passage 3. See, that's the laser emission room. We don't want to go in there. Let's... So there's only one door there, which is kind of interesting. 
Oh. I get the feeling this isn't where we want to be. I think we've gone a step too far. Oh no, this is. Wonderful. Okay, cool. Right, let's flick the switch. Switch for the shutter. Use it. Yep, we're going to use it. Now, this shutter is on a timer, so we have to be fairly fast here. Come on, chaps. F, we're stuck. Now. Now, West Passage. Right, um, we need to go this way. Is it this way? Won't open. Bugger, my memory is failing me already. I think we need... No, it's in, no, no, there we go. I think we need to go this way. And then... Find out where that laser area was. Now, I'm hoping there's no hunters here. There is... There is hunters. I can hear them. That's less than great. Hey, buddy. See you later. This is where we want to be. The laser emission room. Right. Oh, and a herb. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Let's snag that. Uh, okay. What on earth is transpiring here? Well, George. Oh. Well. That was a bit of shit luck, wasn't it? Okay. I didn't think the lasers reactivated when you was actually in the room. Boy, was I wrong. Never mind. Let's go back. My concern is our health gate, um, our virus gauge. This is a long level. Yep, thanks, Hunter. That's not actually that impressive. I say with my big mouth as I can't get into the bloody room. Huh. Now this, yeah, like I said, to start off with, this is a huge pain in the ass. But it does kind of level out a little bit. Laser emission room. As long as we got this 12 gauge on us, we'll be a little bit safer. Alright, let's push the button. There we go. Now we only have a few... Oh god! Zo bloody zombie. You're not a zombie. You're worse than a zombie. I can't believe we're at 25% of our gauge already. That's insane. Never mind. It is what it is. We've literally just started. And we're already up to our eyeballs in virus. Well... Never mind. Right. Oh, God. You ugly. See what I mean? They kind of... They don't look right. They look like... They almost look like clowns. Kind of green clowns. They've got that weird ginormous smile. It. Yeah. Hunters should kind of have more of a, a gorilla-esque face. Um, yeah. I, mm, I don't know. Not really a fan of that particular design. Central Passage 3, finally. Right, guys. Form up on me. Oh, hell. What is that? I can't remember. As a battery. We don't need that. You are on my last nerve. And I think we may die. Um, that would... Well, yes. Okay, guys. This has gone badly. Uh, one second, I'll get us back here. And we're back. Oh, shit. Those two bellends got left out there. Doesn't matter. Maybe. <sighs> right. No time to fuck around. No, Mr. Hunter. You will not be getting a piece of this ass. Oh, hello. That is what we want. There is our key. Now, let's get out of here. Actually, we need to use that key on that room in there with Mr. Hunter. Okay. Right, guys. You're not going to be able... Ah, they buggered off and left us here anyway. Never mind. Okay. Look at that drooling idiot there. Right, we need to be quick here. Yep. Yes. Thank you. Yes, indeed. This really does not help me in any shape. Or form, get through that door before you grow a new ass crack in the back of your head. And this leads us out to Central Passage 2. And more hunters! Uh, more hunters. They're coming straight for us. This way, guys, I think. Alright. 
We actually need to go here. Use that. And through here. Okay. Central Passage 1. <clears throat> And yep, they're still following us. Hello. Right, let's get into here. Right, guys, if you could keep those guys off me for a second, I would be very grateful. Experimentation chamber. Well, that doesn't exactly sound fun now, does it? What were you bastards doing here? Oh boy. How long must we live in fear? Well... Quite a while, I'd wager. Right, we have some health items here. We're actually all on fine. Interesting. Right, let's combine that. Uh, combine one. Oh, no. That's an annoying thing as well. When you go to combine, it automatically puts moves the cursor to the green herb. I wish it would just put it down there. It's a small thing, but it can like put you off. Uh, right, so now we're going to combine that with that in there. I only have three cartridges left. Oh dear, that does not bode very well at all. Alright, hopefully there's some goodies up here. There is no goodies. Why am I thinking there's goodies up here? I don't know. Anywho, observ observation mezzanine. Oh, I hear the clattering of keys. Hey buddy, is there a way out? I hear you have a plan. No need to worry. I'll activate the the tight. You're activating a tyrant. Uh, there's no way in hell this could possibly go wrong. Fight fire with fire. Right here. Kill us. Uh, can you help me out? Bring me the encrypted modisk. Okay. Encrypted modisk. Tyrant. Got ya. We do not want a handgun magazine. I don't think we need this keycard anymore either. Now, the annoying thing with the modisk, you need two of them. You can only carry one at a time. I don't know why. I assume it's a bug. You can add... The yeah, we don't need that. Uh, any cartridges about? Doesn't look like it at all, actually. Handgun magazine. And what's that there? Oh, paperwork. Yes, please. Experimental file. Handling uh, the experimental life form. T0400TP. Known henceforth as T. Activation procedure. Whilst maintaining pressure and temperature settings, transfer the activation program to T's memory cortex. When the program has installed itself, control is established. The activation program MODISC must be inserted in the proper terminal. Because of its top secret nature, the disk is encrypted with a security code. This must be unscrambled in the mainframe room before insertion. Uh, experiment outline. Hand-to-hand -hand fighting with hunters will be used to determine the amount of damage T is capable to withstand. This is also useful in measuring the authority of the control program. Supplementary notes. The experiment is approved only for use under optimum conditions in the experimentation chamber. Safety is not guaranteed if performed outside uh, conditions and locations prescribed. Okay. Interesting. Right, guys. I have to take a quick break. I've got something to do. Uh, I'll be right back. Right, guys. And we are back. Right. Let's continue. Now, uh, the rabbit is eating stuff that he should not be eating. There's no surprise there. And I'm going to move my mic stand because he's getting annoyed with it. How long? Oh, save room. Yeah, not a bad idea. Let's drop down a save. Now, come on. Oh, what was that flashing down there? Uh, nope. No, I don't think we're going to need that yet. Uh, right, let's go. Let's get ourselves this code. Now, we are going... Oh, hello. We'll take that. And we we'll... can't take that, really. Hmm, everybody's fine. Well, we can swap that for that, I suppose. Right, let's go. Come on, guys. Come with me, for I know the way. At least for now, I know the way. Evening, fellas. Let's keep moving. Whoa! Hey, buddy. 
You ain't gonna get none of this ass meat. Not yet, anyway. Maybe you'll get some of their ass meat, but we don't care too much about them. Right. Keep pushing forwards into the door. Come on, my friends. This way. Now, in here, in the mainframe, we can reprogram our key. Our modisk, I should say. Ooh, yes, shotgun shells. Shotgun shells are never a bad idea. However, yep, shotgun shells or a pipe. Well, I know what I prefer. And I'll apologize for the background noise. The rabbit seems to think this is a wonderful time to take a drink. Right, let's rewrite that. So now we have the code A. Now, one thing I don't understand. We, we can uh, reprogram this disk into a code B if we so desire. However, I think I might pause the game until Peter stopped drinking his water. Sigh. One second, guys. This is going to be a real chop shop episode. Oh, he stopped. Have you stopped, Pete? Have you had enough? Good lad. Fair enough. Oh, God. Move. Ow. My face. And most of my organs. Okay. Yeah, we can give him the... Peter! Now he's chucking his toys around. Uh, we can either give him the program A. Or we can give them the program B. And to be 100% honest, I don't know the difference. Um... So, what I'm going to do, we're going to make a program B, and we're going to make a program A. And I actually am going to look up the difference. So, let's stick that in there. Actually, no. What I'm going to do, I'm going to end this video here, because we're pretty much on half an hour now. I'm going to do a little bit of reading and see what the difference is. There's obviously two distinct programs. He's asking for an A, and if we read this file here... Um, yeah, it basically says that uh, it's, he's programmed to destroy hunters. But I don't get the difference between the two programs, so I'm going to drop a save state here. Uh... I'm going to leave this video here. And when we come back, I'm g I would have researched what the difference is. Because I'm curious. I don't want to play through the entire level to find out that one is bad and one is good. Yada, yada, yada. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.